Hello and welcome to your stretch focused on your fingers and your wrists. My name is Caitlin and today I will guide you through a couple of different ways to dissolve any stored stress or tension, tightness held in those two areas, the wrists and through the fingers. If you'd like to join me, then just keep watching. You don't need any props, just a comfortable place for you to be on the ground. So we'll meet in a tabletop, come to your hands and your knees. You spread your fingers nice and wide and you grip your yoga mat, your floor, or even the carpet just with all 10 finger pads just to aliven through the palms of your hands. And then you shift your torso forward and backward. Only as much as this feels right, please be very gentle and patient to start forward and backward. And the goal here is to keep your arms as straight as you possibly can. Alivening the wrists and the fingers with a little bit of strength for a count of three. You're here for two and for one. Now find your neutral table where your shoulders are stacked directly over your wrists. Flip so the back of your right hand is on the ground. So your five right fingers point towards your right knee or your right thigh. You might already feel enough here if that's the case. Stay as you are. But if you'd like, you sink your hips any amount back towards your heels. Much like you've already practiced, both arms are straight press the back of your right hand into the ground. Not super long, but make sure that you can unclench your jaw, soften through the gaze, and breathe. For a count of three, two, and one. Then peel the right hand away. Come to your fingertips so your right hand will look like a little tent shape. Really press into the finger pads. Three, two, and one, then shake out your right hand as if it was wet and you want to shake off any water for three, two, and one. A few wrist rotations, both directions. And then plant your right hand down, close your eyes in your table and notice any changes. For me, it feels like a little more spaciousness through the right wrist, a little more life and energy through five right fingers. Just notice what's there. And then we'll take that to the left. The back of your left hand, press into the mat. Now this might look and feel very different, so be open to that, be aware of that. Five left fingers towards your left knee or left thigh. Your left shoulder can stay over left wrist or start to sink your hips back. That's a very mild change, a mild suggestion. Soft through the jaw, set through the gaze. That way you can concentrate on how you breathe while you stretch your body. Just as you are, take one more breath in. Exhale to peel your left hand away and return to your fingertips. So quite strong, quite active. Grip with the fingertips straight through the left arm. Really dome out through the upper back through the shoulder blades for a count of three, two, and one. Release the fingertips as if your hand was wet, shake it out. And then just a few rotations into the left wrist. Count of three, two, and one. Now you return to that tabletop, set your gaze or close your eyes, observe any changes as you press through the base of your palms, knuckles, and finger pads. Now through the base of your palms, you lift and lower the palms of your hands. Your elbows might bend and that's totally fine, but you lift and lower the palms of your hands. Only as high as you can still press into your knuckles. Your thumbs, along with the palms of your hands, will also lift. You're here for five, and if you begin to fatigue, just take it a little slower or take some rest for four. Lifting and lowering the palms of your hands. Three, strong through the wrists and strong through the forearms. Two, and one. So now you flip. So your fingers, all 10 of them are towards your knees, towards your thighs. Your thumbs point to the right and to the left. Your wrist creases and forearms are exposed forward. Right here might be enough, but if you'd like to explore more, sink your hips slowly and patiently back towards your heels. Stretch all of that area that you just strengthened with the lifting and lowering process of the palms of your hands. If this is really intense for you, I would suggest doing one hand at a time as opposed to both. There's always room to tailor and to modify these suggestions and stretches.
here three, two, and one. Slowly peel the hands away. And then press the backs of your hands into your side ribs or your waist. The backs of your hands into the side ribs. Your elbows would bend out to the right and to the left, chin parallel to the ground. And while you're here, set the gaze or close your eyes and start to breathe a little wider. You feel the side ribs expand and contract into the tops of your hands. With the full capacity of your lungs, take one more big breath in. Exhale to slowly release, make fists, curl your thumbs into the palms of your hands, four fingers on tops of the thumbs. Bring your knuckles down to the mat and then rock the weight forward, closer to the thumbs, shift the weight back, closer to the pinky fingers. Forward so your thumb knuckles get closer to the ground and then backward pinky fingers. I'll switch to the sides just so you can see both. Forward so the thumbs get closer to the ground and then backward to the pinkies. Your arms might be straight, your elbows might bend, just be open to what feels right as you work through inner wrists and outer wrists. Now that you're a little more familiar, set the gaze or close your eyes, hone in on your felt experience and aliven it or enhance it with belly breathing. Five, shifting the weight front to back for four, Three, two, and one. Either take a seat on your heels or stand on your knees and rotate your wrists in both directions. Stay with those ankle rotations, excuse me. Stay with these wrist rotations in the same direction that you've started with for three, for two, and for one. Opposite direction of your wrist rotations. Three, two, and one. Shake that out as if your hands were wet. Last series, again, you can be seated on your heels or stand on your knees. Just take a comfortable stance. Reach your right arm forward. Your wrist, elbow, and shoulder are in the same line. With your left hand, pull your four right fingers back. If you decide that you want more through the right wrist, bend your right elbow and dip it closer to the ground. As a reminder, this is not inherently better or right. Just know that you can tailor it to your body's wants and very specific needs. The goal here is to keep the wrist as best you can in line with the shoulder. Free your four right fingers, and then with the left hand, stretch through your right thumb. Set the gaze or eyes closed. And through the lift of your right arm, one more breath in. Exhale to release. Just let the backs of your hands rest on your thighs. Natural curl in the fingers. Close your eyes and feel the echo or wave of that radiate through your fingers, wrist, and right arm. And we'll take it to the left. Extend your left arm forward, palm open. With your right hand, pull your four left fingers back. If you're right-handed or left-handed, you might feel more or less tension. Just depends on where you hold over effort or stress. If you'd like to explore that advancement, it's not required, but you can, start to bend into your left elbow. Bend it down towards the ground. Try to keep the left wrist in line with your left shoulder, though. And keep your left arm lifted. Free your left fingers. With your right fingers, pull the left thumb back towards your outer left forearm and left wrist. Sensation, yes. Tightness, maybe. But you're not bringing yourself into harm or pain. And you know that to be true because you can breathe. For three, two, and one. One more time, shake it out. Take some wrist rotations. Backs of hands press into one another just in front of the chest. And then the palms of your hands press into one another just at the chest. Wonderful. And that will conclude our finger and wrist stretches for today. My name is Caitlin, and I do hope that you enjoyed and found benefit. You feel a little more free through fingers and wrists. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. And I hope to see you in another video soon.